Hello, my sewing friends. I'm Jen, and this is the sewing room where all the magic happens. Oh, yes, it's magic. And today is Friday Sews, and let me just get this all out of the way in a hurry. Friday Sews is where we talk about sewing in life. It's a hashtag. You can click on the hashtag in the description box. It will take you to all manner of people who watch and make Friday Sews videos. And while I'm at it, about clicking on things, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button because that tells YouTube that you really like it and that more people might like it and that pushes it out so that more people can see it and that just adds people to our sewing community, which is always a good thing. So that's Friday Sews. I've been sewing, so let's talk about the sewing, shall we? Yes, it is winter in Florida, and that means it's about 70 degrees. Does not sound terribly cold, does it? No, really it doesn't. And actually it's not, but when you're used to putting on a sundress and having it go outside and be hot and wearing sandals, well, it, it's a little cool for that. Sometimes you need a sweater or you know a hoodie or something and so that means wearing jeans and maybe sandals maybe not well anyway I like to be warm so I've been looking at my wardrobe and going well what do I have that I can wear that's warm well I made a hoodie a couple of weeks ago out of some scraps and then this past week I made this this is Butterick 6859 and it is uh a pattern that I saw and got because I, I thought it looked interesting but my friend Carol has made it a couple of times and so in fact I found a new look pattern it's new look 6708 which is the same top um, this is a top a dress and a skirt and joggers and so I texted her and said hey which one of these do you like better and she said one is for knits and one is for wovens did have you made them both? And she said yes, but she liked the Butterick and she's had good success with it. And in fact, if you go to her Friday Sews video this week, she'll show you one she made. I'll link that right up here in the description box. So I made that one and I like it a lot. I found this thermal knit that I had in my stash. God only knows, seriously, God alone knows how long I've had it. Uh, and it's like a waffle weave uh, thermal knit and it's got cupcakes all over it and I thought when else am I ever going to use that I'll go ahead and make this top and you know try it out if I like the top maybe I'll make more well the things I've been making lately are so easy they're so simple and I like to make complicated things but not always sometimes I just need to make some you know easy things and have good quick wins you know easy wins so I made this and it has gathering here on the raglan sleeve it's a two-piece sleeve so you've got a center seam going down the top of the sleeve and so um, this went together really quickly because it's essentially just a t-shirt <laughs> I mean really it's a back and a front and a couple of sleeves and you know cuffs and a band at the bottom that I'm not sure that I'm wild about but I'm also more sure that I don't want to have to fiddle with it because I am ditching the perfectionism and I am not indulging in that. It's not that critical a thing in my wardrobe that I should care that much that there's a little bit of a poof right there. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this out and about anyway. Probably I will, but I don't know. So anyway, uh, I made that and it, went together really quickly and it's fine and it's even hot today because it's warm out today you can see the sunshine it's gorgeous and it's uh upwards of 80 i think it's like 78 degrees which is what i like give me more of that the other thing i've been working on this morning i cut it out and that is simplicity 8172 that i saw stephanie farrell from stephanie farrell focus do she did a pattern review on this and also talked about it in a Friday Sews. So I'll link that up here. And uh, it's so cute. It's a little kimono and uh, has a kimono sleeve. So it's a continuous sleeve that comes out like this. But this is a little bit different in that it has a contrast bodice and then lower kind of a skirt part of the, of the uh, kimono. And it, you can do it several ways. Um, there are one, two, three, four different looks, views. I went with UC, which is what the model is wearing. And I wanted that because I've been thinking about when I sing on Sunday mornings, I am a kind of a backup singer. 
on the worship team. And when you are one of those people, you don't want to be flashy and stand out. You just want to kind of blend into the background. And so because of that, I didn't want anything that was flashy. <laughs> But I keep thinking, what can I wear that's benign and will, that's not black. I hate wearing black all the time. I, I wear black on rainy, cloudy, gray days, but I usually don't beyond that. So that, well, maybe navy blue. I didn't like that idea either, but I didn't like anything, you know, colorful or bright or anything like that either. So I was looking around and I thought I could wear this over a pair of jeans. Now that's denim blue. It's not dark or drab, but it's fairly benign. And I thought, yes, I'll do that. So looked in my stash, looked at a lot of things, decided on this. And so the top is going to be this. This is a crinkle polyester shower curtain. <laughs> of course it's a shower curtain. So, uh, it's really kind of nice. It's soft and it uh, it feels nice. And so that is the top. And the bottom is going to be this silky that I've had from Joann's for quite a while. Let's see if I can pull up the lots of rustling. Sorry. This is what it looks like. Isn't this gorgeous? I've been saving this for just the right pattern. And you know what? Why do I do that? That's just silly. There's always another piece of fabric that's just devastatingly gorgeous. And so, you know, I'm going to run across that. So no reason not to use the gorgeous things that I have in my stash. So I have quite a bit of this. So I have quite a bit left. So this is going to be the bottom and this will be at the top. <laughs> and I like the way that they won. So I think it's going to go great and I can just put on a t-shirt and, you know, because this is a kimono, won't matter if it's a short sleeve t-shirt, you've got a kimono sleeve and a t-shirt and then jeans and we're good. So that I cut out this morning. I'm sure it'll go together really quickly. So I just need a book and I'll be set for the rest of today. On the subject of more sewing, but not really sewing kind of life, um, I have two things to tell you about. First of all, I went thrifting again, and I thought I'd take you along with me. So let's go thrifting. I'm out running errands this morning. I've just come from Aldi getting groceries and just various things. And you know, my local Goodwill, the one near me is right here. And I thought, well, why not go in and just check and see what's in there? Goodwill has not been my favorite recently because their prices are higher. Salvation Army prices are also higher, but they're like half an hour um, west. I always think, you have to think about the direction west of me. And yeah, I just don't want to drive up there today. So goodwill it is. I'll go in, look around and just see. One thing I am looking for, well, actually two things. I'm looking for a nightstand and I'm looking for jeans, men's Levi's in a size that fit me in um, like 505 or 501s. And 501s are the button fly. I'm not as wild about those, but 505s would be fantastic in the size I need because they're more of like a stovetop leg, which is, you know, very loose fitting and very popular right now. And I like the feel of those anyway. So we're gonna have a go. Let's see what we can find. Looks like green is 50% off. Okay, men's jeans. These are 30 waist, which I don't think I can get away with. And you know, looking for Levi's is the trick. Can I find any Levi's? Here are some. Man, that's like, can't even read it. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what size they are. 30, oh, that's kind of short. So no matter what the waist size is, that's it's just too short for me. I need about a 34 to be honest, but it does have that little pocket right there, that little zipper. That's interesting. Okay, see what I mean about Levi's? It's like they're just, you just never find them. That's kind of cool. You know what? That'd be fun to do if you ever wanted to upcycle them. 
All right, I'm gonna keep looking here and I doubt I'll find anything, but I'll let you know. Oh, well, I had to walk down this aisle, didn't I? Yeah, I just, you know, sheets, shower curtains. It's kind of pretty. Ooh, that's cotton. What could I do with those? This. It's probably, it's like a linen blend. This is another linen. These are curtains, I think, because they don't have any holes at the top along the hem. Yeah, those would be nice for pants, but no, I don't think so. Hmm. What else is there? Ooh, that's satin. That is really stiff. Okay. Ooh, this is cute. And this is cotton. Oh, that's really cute. I love the colors. Is this a shower curtain? Or a... It is $3.99 for that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to carry this around with me. I know it's kind of big, but you know, I'd make a cute skirt. See, this is what makes me crazy about Goodwill. These are all brand new. And, you know, all of this is like, what? Whatever happened to thrifting? I don't want to buy any new stuff. I want to buy old stuff and reuse. These are all tank tops. And you know what? I saw a cool thing on Instagram the other day. Is that green? And it's $4.99, I think. Yeah, this might work. I saw this thing where you can iron on foil and get like a metallic look. And I just want something, I don't care what it is, you know, I just tank top to try and just practice on or just try it out on. Okay, mission accomplished. To be honest, I usually find stuff here. So I came away with the two things that I showed you. And those are the, where is it in here? <laughs> Here it is. Uh, the little tank top that I bought that was really cheap because it was half off. I think it was $2, something like that. But I'm going to take this and do a, kind of a craft on it. And I'm going to do it. I'm show you as I do it because I don't know how it'll turn out, but it'll be interesting. So I just needed something to practice on. So that's why I bought that. And then I got this, which is, of course, yes, you guessed it. Can we say it all together? A shower curtain, but look, it's it's 100% cotton. It's it's really nice, it's like broadcloth or calico or something. But look at these colors! Oh my gosh, this is going to be a skirt, and I think I know what skirt I want to make. It's a McCall's pattern. I went through my uh, skirt patterns last night, and I thought, what do I want? Because I was thinking about this for uh, something to wear on stage for Sunday morning and I thought no, that's way too flashy so no that will not be being made into something for that but a uh, skirt definitely a skirt I have several to choose from and so I'm going to do that more on the subject of life and kind of sewing the other thing I wanted to tell you about was this yes that is my number four daughter's wedding dress. And there is much to be done on this. There is a new skirt that needs to be made. I don't know if we're gonna work with this mesh skirt that we have here. Many, well, a couple, three, four layers of that. Uh, and kind of what's the corset, basically. But I do know that I'm gonna have to make the corset fit and there's a zipper up the back and I know I need to pull that in, but I'm kind of debating on whether, like when to do that uh, because she wants an organza skirt that's like a handkerchief tiered thing and um, <laughs> mom can sew, can't she? Sure, mom can do that. Mom is scared to death basically to get into all that because it's, it's an expensive dress. So. Uh, I'm going to work on that and uh, stress over it, I'm sure, worry about it, you know, and then finally come to a conclusion and go, okay, yes, let's do that and I'll get to it. So that is sewing and sewing in life.
because nothing else is going on with life except Jen wishing that it would get to be 80 degrees so I can get in the pool. I would really like to do that. So let's move on to the little bit of Jesus that I put into every video that I do. If that's not for you, thank you so much for watching and thanks for joining in and I will see you next time. If it is for you, here is what I have to share with you. This is from 2 Chronicles 7, 14. I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. That's part of a verse that starts out with, if my people, um, and, uh, and goes on and says something like, if my people will uh, pray and call out to me, then I will hear them. And wherever you are in the world right now, that's for you. And that's really all I want to say about that. That it doesn't matter where we live, where we are, what country we're in, where we are on the planet. That is for us. So I will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I love you all. I will see you Monday with a video about a collab that I'm doing. It's a quarterly collab that I do with the Fab Five. So I will see you then and um, thanks for watching.